and welcome to this latest video. Uh, in this video, I'm going to talk about a project that I've been working on for quite a few days now, actually. Um, and it's a NeoPixel ring-based clock. So I've got some parts here. I've got the NeoPixel. Uh, so these come in uh, quarter circles, 15 per uh, module. Uh, I've uh, soldered them together. I'll show you that in a minute. Uh, I have got the Vimos D1 Mini. And then I've got a clock face which I have salvaged from a non-operational clock. So what I'm going to do is, basically, let me just take this uh, face template out. Um, I'm going to put this into the clock face, uh, push this wire through, have the Vmos D Mini at the back of it, and hopefully uh, with the software that I've firmware I've uh, updated onto this module, uh, I should have a working clock. So let's just start by putting these, feeding these wires through. Uh, I'll just quickly show the back of this. So this is a clone of the Adafruit um, NeoPixel ring. Um, and it's actually um, slightly different as well. So the Adafruit NeoPixel ring uh, has the D out and the D in swapped around, which is actually good because uh, the LEDs are running clockwise. In this case, in this uh, clone, the uh, LEDs are running anti-clockwise. So if you look at it here, uh, so was this way down, the this is D in, so this will be the first LED in, you know, increment this way all the way up to 60. 59 if you start from the zero index. So obviously when you turn it around, uh, that means that you have LED 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and so obviously it's going anti-clockwise. So I had to fix this in the software to make sure that my clock is running clockwise as opposed to anti-clockwise. Um, so with that in place, let's just turn it over a second and wire this into the so my data line is on the white cable, uh, my ground is black, and my 5-volt um, DC is on the gray. So let's just connect this up. DC, white, which is my ground, and white, which is my data line. Okay, so that plugged in. to use some uh, hot glue gun um, and have this fixed in place so that it's not breaking them out. So in the meanwhile, I'm going to test it out. So I'm going to set up in place and place the watch face on top of it. see the second as soon as the D1 mini comes out you see the second and rotating. It's actually going to connect to the internet and get time from the NTP. So right now it's 
see at 620, this should be at 7 because it's slightly ahead of the X. And what happens with the second needle is when it goes over, it just goes wide and then goes back to whatever it was, or whatever hand it was. And when the hour needle and the minute needle are in the same position, I combine the color. I may not get the best color actually, but I combine it to kind of show that they're both overlapping each other. So that's nice and simple. Um, I'll uh, share the link for the GitHub repository with the code um, that I have, the firmware that I've done for this uh, project. And I hope that uh, you find it useful. It's quite nice and simple. It's taken me quite a bit of time to actually figure out all the quirks of this NeoPixel with the anti-clockwise uh, setup as opposed to the clockwise setup. Uh, that's it. Thank you very much. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video.